and then and then you start wondering why is my life like this why my husband has changed why my husband doesn't treat me the way he was treating me when i was in kenya you need to remember they are also human beings and they were treating you that because back then you had problems they know what is going through and that's why they try to help you but now you need to put up your socks work get your money get that job so that you can support your husband or your man who brought you here otherwise it will be a problem if you rely on him to do everything for you that's a problem many are facing right now and many women think yeah, it's a paradise <laughs> it's not paradise you have to put up your socks work hard it's not paradise that man you see loving you so much <laughs> you will change and you'll be miserable you start beating you stop mistreating you like you like i don't know what that's how life goes and if you are not careful you will be depressed and you'll get into drinking and then you can save yourself i've learned one thing myself to be myself to do what makes me happy and that's what i want you to do make yourself happy and try to understand it's not a paradise. Money is not everything. Money is not everything you think. Money is not all, think, all you think in your mind. Money is a evil. Money is evil. When you don't have money, you think evil. That's why I'm telling you. Money is evil. It destroys relationships. It destroys marriages. And destroys any connections. Yes. Money destroys everything. What you have to do is find your own money when you get that chance to come out of your country wherever you are and you join this as word of yours remember the moment you enter that tra that plane and you run that's the moment your life have changed it will never treat you the way it treat you before ask me i'll tell you but i thank god my god is protecting me until now i don't know everybody can be lucky like i am but if you meet yourself in a situation and you can't avoid circumstances, just run. I don't tell you to live, to stay somewhere you can suffer. Don't move so fast. And that's it. I wish you all the best. It's morning. It's Christian. How we doing, people? It's cold. It's raining. And and umbrella. Umbrella. And it seems. It's getting dark each and every day. And it's Saturday, but I need to work. I need to get some money. Because we people got get married, got married by white people. Some of us don't depend on this white man. We work and make money. Yes. We don't depend on them to buy us everything. And that is why it's getting i want to talk to you and tell you that it's getting bad when a woman gets married by a white man and then all of a sudden when yes of course when in your country you support you you do everything for you because you're showing him love but to us you go and they look at you look at to his face thing change that Mr. Queen, eh? you are calling Mr. Queen. You are being queen all the time. You are queen, my princess. Hmm? The moment you go, the moment you leave, that's the moment your life comes <laughs> miserable. Everything will change. No matter how you are treating you like a queen, eh? if you don't support that guy, if you don't give him the support of financial, the things will be changing. I'm telling you the truth that it can you can have you can be in marriage for one year you can be marriage for half year and after you get that's when this happens i want to tell these people out here that if you think think will be the same way as when you are in your ha in your home in your country you have to think twice you have to come and work hard so that you can get some money i'm telling you those people thinking that they are going to paradise that is not paradise. Paradise is not in this country. That love you thought you had is finished. 
it's not gonna be there anymore. I'm telling you the truth. I know I'm watching for the train. I don't know when I'm gonna take. I still have driving, but I can't drive the car right now. Hmm. I need to get to my own. <laughs> That's the truth. I'm trying to say this. And those people who are getting white men, and they are pretending a lot, showing off a lot, giving every details of your love and your details of every step you take. Not everyone on the internet loves you. Not everyone who is laughing with you is your friend. You should think twice. Yes, we need this suit of money, but for me, I do it for fun. And I think I need to help somebody out there to realize if you're getting the white man for the first time, you should think, stop telling people your, your, your details, even if they are friends. They can be your friends, but they are telling you this, that, and you should do not, you should not share your details. Even your own family can, can come and betray you. If you don't know, I ask people who are out here how their family betray them. There's people who are happy for them, they are destroying them now. So if you are, they are telling your family everything, every details of your life, let me tell you, there's a problem you're gonna face one day. And don't think it's like, it'll be, because they're happy when you're there with them, but when you move, you move to another country, that's when problems begins. Your own family, your friends come against you. And if you tell them more details of you, they will destroy you. And if you're not, you're not you don't, you don't agree with me, wait and see. If it's just your first time you're, you're relocated and you're still thinking that your family is the best friend or your friend are best friend. Since you are moved, please start your own life. Stop sharing everything on social media. Social media can destroy you. They're not your family. They're not your friends. They're just subscribers. They can destroy you if they know details of your life. Everybody has moved out. They have problems when they're moving. Some people don't get, the, they don't get, they don't get a visa. Some people denied five times. Some people get denied visa or for a lifetime. Some people they don't even get that opportunity. It's not only you who get that chance. There are people who are the same. Me, uh, mine was miracle, and I got it. But I didn't even tell everybody because I didn't see the need of telling everybody about my 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 breakthrough <laughs> i'm telling you this praise if you're looking for a white man and you are moved and you found out remember life will change it will change the moment you take that train yes and then and then you start wondering why is my life like this why my husband has changed why my husband doesn't treat me the way he was treating me when i was in kenya you need to remember they are also human beings and they were treating you that because back then you had problems, they know what is going through, and that's why they try to help you. But now you need to put up your socks, work, get your money, get that job so that you can support your husband or your man who brought you here. Otherwise, there will be problems if you rely on him to do everything for you. That's a problem many are facing right now. And many women think yeah, it's a paradise. <laughs> it's not paradise. You have to put up your socks, work hard. It's not paradise. That man you see loving you so much, <laughs> you will change and you'll be miserable. You start beating you, start mistreating you like you. Like, I don't know what. That's how life goes. And if you are not careful, we'll be depressed. And you'll get into drinking. And then you can save yourself. I've learned one thing myself, to be myself, to do what makes me happy. And that's what I want you to do. Make yourself happy and try to understand. It's not a paradise. Money is not everything. Money is not everything you think. Money is not all, thing, all you think in your mind. Money is a evil. Money is evil. When you don't have money, you think evil. That's why I'm telling you. Money is evil. It destroys relationship, it destroys marriages, and destroys any connections. Yes, money destroys everything. What you have to do is find your own money. When you get that chance to come out of your country, wherever you are, and you 
joined this house, word of yours. Remember, the moment you enter that that prayer and you run, that's the moment your life has changed. And they will never treat you the way it treated you before. Ask me, I'll tell you. But I thank God. My God is protecting me until now. I don't know everybody can be lucky like I am, but if you meet yourself in a situation and you can't avoid circumstances, just run. I don't tell you to live, to stay somewhere you can suffer. Don't move so fast. And that's it. I wish you all the best.